Here I'll illustrate the uh, solution of a uh, homogeneous uh, constant coefficient equation by the Laplace transform, just to show the method. So um, we take the Laplace transform of both sides of this equation and use the property of, uh, of um, linearity. So let's see what do we have here. So we take the Laplace transform of x double dot using uh, the table. So we have uh, s squared capital X of s minus s s x times x of 0, x of 0 is 1 minus s minus x dot of 0, x dot of 0 is 0. So that covers x double dot. Minus x dot, the Laplace transform of x dot is s times capital X minus minus X of 0 X of 0 is 1 so plus 1 that takes care of X dot minus 2 X minus 2 capital X and the Laplace transform of 0 is 0 so now the we've converted uh, transformed our equation to s space which is algebraic equation and we can solve for x, so we bring s minus 1 onto the right hand side and uh, we factor out x, so we get x of s is equal to s minus 1 over s squared minus s minus 2 minus s minus 2 the denominator is factorable so this is s minus 1 over s minus 2 s plus 1 okay so now we've solved uh, the equation for capital X of s in the Laplace transform space and now we need to go back to T space so that means we need to apply the inverse Laplace transform which goes from the right hand side to the left hand side you will not find exactly this expression in the table but you will find expressions 1 over s minus a which goes to exponential function and in order to get an expression to look like that we need to use partial fraction expansion okay so let's try partial fraction expansion if you're not familiar with that you can look it up on the web using Google so we write s minus 1 over s minus 2 s plus 1 as two, two terms um, a over s minus 2 plus b over s plus 1 and we want to determine a and b a trick we can use is to multiply both sides of this equation by s minus 2 and then set s equal to 2 when we do that this term will vanish if we multiply by s minus 2 we get a on the right hand side so put that on the left hand side then we multiply this one by s minus 2 so it cancels s minus 2 in the denominator we get s minus 1 over s plus 1 and we've set s equal to 2 in order to force the b term to vanish okay so uh, that's a trick that we can use to isolate a and when we do that we get a one-third okay we can do the same trick for B so to, to isolate B we would multiply by s plus 1 and set s equal to minus 1 so that we would get B this term would vanish we multiply by s plus 1 so we have s minus 1 over s minus 2 and we set s equal to minus 1 so this would be minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 
over minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3. So minus 2 over minus 3 is 2 thirds. Okay? Um, and now we're ready to go. So to find x of t, we take the La inverse Laplace transform of x of s. So we have uh, x of t equals the inverse Laplace transform of uh, x of s, which is uh, a over s minus 2 plus b over s plus 1, right? So that's a is one third over s minus two, and then we use the linearity of the inverse Laplace transform. So the inverse Laplace transform of b two thirds over one over s plus one. Okay. Um, that looks more like our table. Let's have a look again. So um, we're looking at the uh, exponential term. So 1 over s minus a is e to the a t. So then this one, uh, a here is 2, and the 1 third we can pull out. So that's 1 third uh, e to the 2 t. And this term, uh, a equals minus 1, the 2 thirds we can pull out, plus 2 thirds e to the minus t. And we've completed then the uh, Laplace transform method.